offers a data visualization tool called Discovery. Discovery allows us to see data in a more tactile way where we can identify outliers, variances, and trends in that data. Here's an example of the Discovery where we've set up a perspective called an executive summary with three dashboards of information for summary information, expenses, and revenue. Some examples of some of the charts we can use in Discovery are a scorecard view. So in this case, we've got um, some key expense categories. And we're able to see for the month what our budget versus the actual and variances. Same information for the year. And then we have these micro charts, which are really helpful in identifying outlying exceptions. So in this case, we can see travel and entertainment seems to be spiking in May. And I could come in and actually look and see, well, where is this happening down to the different location? And then I could also drill on this and explore data, which is basically like Cell Explorer, where I could go to the specific sheet and identify that outlier data. In this case, you could see that the data was due to something that was likely a typo error in the ERP system uh, that came through. And we probably want to correct this and say, wait a minute, that was actually $6,000. Um, some other examples of data visualization tools here are the KPI chart. In this case, we keep an eye on that specific KPI, look at that variance, and see the trend over time. And probably the most popular are the line graphs, budget versus actual, and also looking at prior year. Again, you can see that travel expense spike over here. We're able to come in and discovery and slice and dice the information. So we could go ahead and update this to look at a slice by a specific part of the organization. And we could also adjust the time so we could look at it for different time periods as well. Some examples of an expenses dashboard would be looking at the expense breakout by department headcount, one of the major expense drivers, um, also keeping an eye on that by department. And then typically folks want to keep an eye on travel and entertainment expenses. So in that case, taking advantage of a bar chart. Uh, we also have column charts, which are helpful in looking at breakouts of data. Some additional scorecards. And then the waterfall chart really helpful in describing how we got from one point to another. So in this case, we're looking at budget versus actual on expenses. And we're able to see then what the total is, variance due to operating expenses, allocations, and other. Example of a revenue dashboard, some more pie charts. In this case, um, we can also interact with the pie charts. So if we go ahead and we look at the data for this custom products, I could slice and dice it and look at it by location, and it would give me that breakout. This has been very helpful in making sure that if numbers are a little bit different than what we expect, we're able to drill in quickly and look at the components. And again, for revenue, some additional column charts to show data trends and some scorecards. So what we find is Discovery is a, a great tool in order to make sure we're taking advantage of the capabilities it offers. Um, what Armanino offers is an adoption and training program. What this includes then is going over your adaptive instance with a project manager and what those standard dashboards are in a little bit more detail than what I just did. What we do then is we go ahead and set up those three discovery dashboards with the 21 standard dials for you. And then we come back and we do a three-hour training session with you uh, coming on site if that's appropriate. In there, we go through and review all of those 21 dials or charts that we set up. And we show you, walk you through getting those updated so they meet your specific needs. Then we'll also go through and create some new graph styles from the 13 that Adaptive has available in Discovery so that you're able to create those from scratch. And finally, we'll show you how to create dials from the sheet data itself. You'll have an opportunity to go ahead, build your own dashboards, and then shortly thereafter, we have a follow-up call, answer any of those last questions that you might have.